today is not the best day for going out on a jolly. It's grey, overcast. I don't know whether I'm going to get any decent photos. I don't know whether I've got any de decent video. I'm going to a place called Waltham Coat today. It's a medieval church on the borders of uh, Warwickshire and Northampton. There is that they do say that it's the, it, there used to be an abandoned village around there as well. I think the village was called Fleck now. And that there you can actually see the footings of the old medieval village. So I'm, I may go and have a look at them as well. I haven't got my drone, so I might not even be able to see the. I might not even be able to see the. The footings, but I'm going to go and have a look. You never know. Right? What else? There's something else more important. Oh yeah, history. <laughs> I always have to give you a little bit of history. This church was actually built in the 13th century. And that's all I know for now. But I'll find out as I go along. Okay, here I am at St Peter's Church in uh, Wolfham. Wolfham Coat. I believe it dates from the 13th century. This church is cared for by the Church's Conservation Trust. Although no longer needed for regular worship, it remains consecrated buildings as part of England's history, maintained for the benefit of this and future generations. If the church is borrowed, if the church is locked, a key may be borrowed from the cottage, the hall or old vicarage beyond. Well that's interesting to know. I hope it's not locked because that's what I'm here to see inside and out. But this is the thing that first struck me when I uh, when I came this. I believe it's the remains of a moated manor house, but well, I'm not 100% sure. Apparently I was talking to um, someone that looks after it that lives in the vicarage just up the road from here, and they said It's locked, I can get a key. <laughs> Hopefully it's not. Well it's supposed to be noted. Ah that's new bricks. Obviously been put there to help sustain the wall. And again, looks like it's been damaged by uh, by fire. Maybe I don't know unless that's just general. God, I need to think about putting jeans on when I come to these places because nettle hurt. I'm not going to set much further nearer. I would have thought this would have been a bit bigger. Wow. Look at that old sandstone. And modern bricks obviously put there to help. Help hold it up. I believe this is part of an old, uh, I say, moat of manor house. There's actually some medieval footings down here as well. On the village of Wolf Wolf Flesk, I can't remember the medieval name. And I wish I'd bought my walking stick. The things you do first. Whoa! Yes, I definitely need to remember my walking stick. 
I've left it down by the car. I'm just going to come and take a few stills of this and then I'll carry on. I'm going to go and take a few stills of this and then I'm going to carry on in the church, providing it's open. I hope it's open. We'll have a look. That's a quick view of the outside, now we'll have a look on the inside. Okay. So it's got some sort of old entrance into it. I don't know whether it's well it's definitely not traditional. Well, I would have thought this would have been one of the entrances in it. Door's solid enough, it's tongue and groove, so it ain't that it ain't that old. That's a shame. But the beams on the other hand. The beams are really old. I wonder whether it was used for a barn storage or something. You never know. Go uh, down, go round and find the uh, the main interest, the main door. That's interesting, sandstone. Oh, I thought that was the main door. Obviously not. No stained glass windows in it. Oh, it's open. Fantastic. 
Oh, where are all the pews? It's a bit dark in here. Obviously no candles, no electric even, and no stained glass, which is unfortunate. Heavily, heavily vandalised in the 50s. Maybe it was smashed, I don't know. And that's obviously the bell tower. I think I need to go back and get. Well, I've now got to rush through the video. There you go, that, that is the bell tower. With the bell still there in situ. And that's obviously the old mechanism on the wall there. The old mechanism for the bells. I believe, because the string goes around the outside and then that's how they work. I haven't got time to read it unfortunately because I need to go and there's the bell that's in the tower I'd really like to describe this in more detail, but I've had an emergency text. Apparently these pews have been moved because they do some sort of drum club here. 
play drums and stuff. But these here are the original. Victoria Fuse. That looks like it could well be a fun. I do do surfaces here. Where you put your donation. I would advise you to put your money in. I've already put mine in. I think it takes 1.5 million to look after this church and many others throughout the country. century so hard. It's a, that, mean, that means it's probably older than the ruined church I visited in, I can't remember, Nutsford, Nutsford, Natsford, wherever it is, either way. Either way, it's on my YouTube channel.
why there's a lot of candlesticks around because I say this church hasn't got even an electricity supply. The only electricity supply I've seen. is the one Seats look. Obviously, when there's not enough seats, they put some of them in. Well, that's me done guys and girls. Oh! Can't go anywhere without forgetting the important thing that would be my camera and my walking stick. I nearly went without taking it. Gonna have another quick look around the outside because I'm really I haven't had a chance to take many stills. I've got to get home by one or by twelve o'clock. <coughs> Not good. 